when my lawnmower explodes, my adherence to buy once, cry once as a philosophy definitely has a little bit more cry in it. But there is a Honda mower that is coming home with me to, well, continue doing the same job my previous mower was doing before it exploded. So, so I chose a Honda lawnmower um, because really I have a slight affinity for the brand, I suppose, mainly because that Honda right there, um, I didn't service it for about three years and I took it for a service today and they were like, that's fine, no worries. So, I mean, that makes me think that the lawnmower might be as peat proof as the uh, CRV has ended up being. So let's uh, get it out and I'm still just, I'm, this is not a joyous purchase. This is like a, you know, I, I, I don't get anything new out of this. All I can do is continue to cut my grass. So I'm still in the cry stage of buy once, cry once. Let's see if building the thing and turning it on makes me feel a bit better. HRN216PKUA. So this is the lower end of the three that they have. And this one just doesn't have the variable speed um, auto type feature. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I figure it's probably several degrees more advanced and better made than every lawnmower I've had before. So I probably won't notice such a, um, a wordy feature or its absence so I think I would be fine I wanted a large radius so 21 inches um, no diameter rather most of the other ones were 16 to 18 so there's extra couple of inches um, should generally provide a little bit more um, speed in doing a lawn cut oh, I'm so dispassionate about this purchase I should be really like if I had just bought a house and it didn't wasn't replacing a mower, I'd probably be really excited right now. Um, let's just see, Honda, you work your magic and, and thrill me, please. Nope, I'm gonna need a knife. make a complete mess of it in case I need to box it back up in case there's something going on. I might open it up and there's, you know, instead of an engine it's got a grapefruit or something. So I'm trying to do it as neat as I can rather than just, I'll destroy this box happily once I've got the mower out. Alrighty. about the same size as a um, zero tolerance knife box, isn't it? Repurpose it maybe, next time I sell one. Well, here she is. Ooh. Oh, it's all with some oil with it, that's nice. On the genuine oil, well, I'll use that before the other hundred genuine oil that I bought. Thing. I don't even know. I'm not sure I'll figure it out. Uh, right. and this would be some kind of clipping bag. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. So it's got a clippings bag. I usually just let it kind of mulch and fall to the side. Um, but you know what? That might be handy. In. Nothing worse than those toggly, bloody, can't stand them. Those toggly things that wobbly, they always shake off eventually. Don't like that. Right. Well, so this is the throttle. Pretty, pretty cool. 
Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the throttle. So it'll make it go faster and I guess you're just holding it and pushing it around. Right, eh? Let's uh, keep going. Get some lending pull, I guess. Uh, uh, fill the engine with oil before you start. That's some good advice. And you know what? For someone like me, probably needed. It's, a, it's an okay looking mower. I think this is a bit ugly. It uh, says to remove, pro remove protective film before use. Um, what protective film would that be? Maybe this? I don't know. Is that a protective film? It's, I'd like to remove this hideous sticker. How ugly. Oh my god. I wonder if I should. Oh yeah, actually, you do remove the protective film on this sticker. Because otherwise, I'm sure it would melt from the heat. Right. Let's see. Yeah, let's see it's coming. I'll just pour at it dumbly until it comes off. Wow, that still looks hideous and tacky and 80s. Anyway, right, so this is apparently an American made mower or American assembled. I'm sure the motor's probably Japanese. But, um, you know, that's something for my viewers. You know, you guys all like America, don't you? So that's good. Uh, right. Hmm. Oh, my phone just said the new episode of Lord of the Rings is on Amazon Prime. Uh, no, thank you. I am not keen on that show. I tried watching it and I was just bored. So bored. I was like, you know, I couldn't stop playing on my phone. I've usually got an okay attention span for those sorts of things, but not for that show. Yeah, what is happening here? Why is this, this, why is this befuddling me so? Ugh. No, no. Oh, I have to look it up. No, I just needed to twist it harder. Use my, use my strength. Well, it's got a nice grommet around it. I must say, usually on my old mower, my old Ryobi, which was a fine mower, it was okay. It lasted six or seven years and then just exploded. Um, it, this was always rattling loose though. So I do like the, the confidence that gives me. So let's put some of this Honda oil in it. And then I should probably read the owner's manual. <laughs> Actually, I'm half serious because I really don't know what I'm doing. Small engines and me are not friends. Very rarely are they friends, those two things. Heat and small engines. I hate them, I hate them. There is no greater frustration in the world than, start, than trying to crank a small engine. Goodness me, the fucking worst. When a small engine won't start and you don't know why, is there anything worse? Oh, you're just like, you know what, maybe if I just keep pulling this thing, then it will somehow not be shit anymore, and it's never the case. Well, it's oiled, oiled up. Good, good. I'll have to, like, do the tour and make sure there's no other things to remove. There is no primer bulb, which is interesting, so it's obviously a vote of confidence that they've got a self-priming engine there, even when cold. So, I guess, cool, I hope. There's always something cathartic about, you know, you could at least feel like you're actually contributing to the to the thing starting by jamming a primer bulb a million times. But you know what? Maybe not. Maybe it's time to move on past those primitive days of mashing of mashing the lawnmower's clitoris until it does something for you. Who knows? Let's have a bit of a look at the blades. I'm always interested to see what kind of blades you've got. So we've got a... Uh, just a dual blade. Okay, that's cool. No worries. Um... My Ryobi had um, like a four blade sort of real chopper, but uh, God, they always feel so dull, don't they? But I guess they are just for cutting grass. So anyway, oh, yeah, I guess there's a rudimentary edge on there somehow. Good, good, okay. You see that there, see a pair of blades? Yep, 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 yep. Right, I'll just quickly read this quick start guide and I won't, I'll spare you footage of me sitting there reading the quick start guide. That would not be riveting viewing, I'm sure. Uh huh, yes, of course, the old spark plug cap onto the spark plug. There you go, there, buddy boy. That would have been an annoying thing to figure out on the fly. So that is snug as a bug. Assemble the gr ah, the grass bag. That's the frame for the grass bag. Now I'm not probably going to use the grass bag because it's just something I end up having to change all the time. So I like to mulch as I go rather than grass. 
So it's got a clip director on the side, which points the, the mulch either way. So setting it to bag makes it rear discharge. <laughs> rear discharge. Oh, there are two cutting height adjustment levers. Goodness me. Fancy. Really go off-road. Off-road up to four, hey? That's cool. Oh, two and a half would be fine, I'm sure. Well, I think we are almost ready to add fuel and start the fucking thing. I'm still not excited, I must admit. It is time to fill her up. Big open fuel mouth, isn't it? Goodness me, look at that. Oh. She's gaping! Alright, eh? <laughs> Just douse my new mower with, with petrol. Oh, I know I should be using a smaller tub, but uh, just get it started for now. Add a Lewis. See, sometimes it's nice to watch someone else working out life, you know? Makes you feel less dumb about the times when you have to work out life as well. I've had lawnmowers before, but I must admit, I feel like I'm a real babe in the woods right now. Uh, now, open the fuel line, I'm sure. With a yeet yeet there. Oh, it's just so strange to not have a primer bulb. No. Ah, yes, yes. That seems a bit better. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. So, pull this back. All right, okay, so you need to be holding this back to keep the mower on, which is usually your mower kind of just idles, but okay. Okay, they're very confident in their their choke-free, clitoris-free engine. So, okay, okay, let's go and cut some grass. I'm, you know, I'm perked up. This has perked me up. It just started just like that. Um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. I wouldn't say I'm, I wouldn't say I'm thrilled, but I'm, I'm happy. All right, I'm happy. It's always the way you just want to get started, and then you remember that these two make about a bucket of shit every day. So, rather than have the uh, mower spray it all over my ankles, I think I'll clear that up first. Buy once, cry once this one. Buy once, cry often at his retardation with this one. Would you please let me plant some plants along the fence line without eating them, please? Literally planted one today, went inside, came back. I even put wire around it and it's eaten. It's eaten, it's remains of there. You little mutant. Stopping every time I stopping every time I let go of the throttle, but okay. Well, let's get a nice big time lapsey view of me mowing my whole lawn. Does that sound like thrilling video content? Sure, it does. Uh, let's do it. Oh, you know what's the best angle to watch someone cut his grass? Is there even such an angle? Yeah, I wouldn't say I was happy 
but I am content. All right, so how did that go? Well, um, I'd still probably prefer if it had a idling mode where it could just idle without it being either on or off. But again, if they're confident in their eases, because in my head still, perhaps because I've been abused by years of crappy lawnmowers, starting the thing is like the first battle. So if this will successfully remove that first battle, then good. But right now I'm still a bit of a, a bit of a, um, I've got a bit of a chip on my shoulder, so I don't quite trust it yet to just always start, you know, let's just, you know. And it's just gonna take a bit of time to get used to for me. Um, but everything else that you do, it's, it cut tidily. Um, it's, and you know, this is a thing for surely everyone likes this in their mower. When you can go over stuff that you're probably not meant to go over, but it's okay. So I went through as I was going over it, oh, there's a bit of um, um, whippersnipper cordage. Fuck, you know, is that gonna bind it up? No, nah, um, I went over a few pretty thick branches and bits of shit that the dogs had dragged in that I sort of hadn't seen. And it did fine. It just kind of atomized them and was done. Um, the dog poos that I sort of saw at the last minute and just kind of shrugged and went over, uh, they kind of got, um, they got flattened out, but they're still there. I would much prefer if it, my last Ryobi had the four bladed, I think it was more of a mulching blade. And that kind of had a more of a, had a suction or something that sort of really lifted and pulverized things like that. So it's kind of like just smears the dog shit flat, which you know what, this, these are things, this is real world, you know, these are things that I care about. So yeah, it kind of, it smears the dog poo rather than, you know, atomizing it, which, you know what, for my nose and respiratory system is probably really for the best, isn't it? Um, look, a thousand dollars on a mower, that's, um, for me, that's a lot of money. And this is like, um, yeah, this is a purchase that I was really like unhappy to make. Like I, I did not enjoy that I had to go and buy a new lawnmower. My options were, Basically, I could get I, I could get this guy because we've got like one big. I live in the country. We've got like one hardware store. Uh, it's got a good range. It's a big hardware store, but you get this or the other Honda above it. For this is a thousand. The other one's eleven hundred. And then you went down to Victor Mowers, Victor brand, which is like six hundred bucks. And my friend Paul, I bumped into Paul and at the hardware store, and he was like, "Oh, my Victor's good. I think he had an okay experience with his Victor." Um, and then there's just kind of the other ones that were the cheaper frames with the Biggs and Stratton engines on them. And they are actually can be good because Briggs and Stratton engines, you can get the parts for them everywhere. You can always get the parts from it like Coles and Target and stuff. So that just never sneer, never sneer at a BNS engine on a on a different frame because the engine's generally pretty good, good to maintain. So I sort of was going to either get a BNS, perhaps an engine that would need a new filter and a new spark plug every now and then a bit a bit more often. Um, or I was going to get the premium. And so I kind of chose the premium and I don't know, I would just have to just chalk it up to, you know, I'll get paid for all the money I get for, for making fun of Gerber and Husk knives in YouTube videos, perhaps can, can help me rationalize um, this purchase here. So yeah, overall, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it in the mulching mode. Uh, let's have a bit of a look underneath and see where everything's gone. Yep, sort of went off into the, the great, great beyond all the stuff. Nothing's bound up, which is good. Uh, sometimes mulching modes of, of mowers, they just kind of, it just masses underneath and the blades end up slowing down. That's what my Ryobi used to do all the time, which used to drive me crazy. So look, I'm, I'm content. I'm content, I'm not stoked. I'm not gonna be stoked on it until it does a good two years of flawless service. Uh, I had to get used to the weird kind of throttle on and off. Um, I may end up, being fine with that but we'll see it just depends on how good it starts and uh yeah really uh i guess just the journey begins so not a review of course um yeah things like this are cool mulch mode through to bag mode little simple pull switch there that's good i like that you know okay 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 um i'm still kind of in shock at spending a thousand dollars today i didn't think i was going to spend but yeah my last mod just exploded and it you know it's not fixable so uh, okay okay uh, that'll do it for today. Um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll be back um, with something soon else, I'm sure.